Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today our math tip is going to, be going to involve squaring numbers that end in 5. Now, we know when we square a number, right, 5 times 5, that's basically what this 5 with the raised to the second power represents 5 times 5 equals 25. Well, anytime you have a number that ends with a 5, these are going to be the last two digits in your answer. Okay, so, uh, let's say, I don't know, 25 squared. Now, how do we do this? Just look at the first digit, right? The next consecutive number, if we were counting 1, 2 is after 1, 3 is after 2, uh, 4, 4 is after 3, 5 is after 4, 6 is after 5, 7 is after 6, 9 is after 8. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, if we have 2, we're going to multiply by 3. If that, if this two is the, the next consecutive number is 3, so we would say 2 times 3 equals 6. And then, deal with our square, 25. I lost my eraser, I, I misplaced it. So let's say we're going to square uh, 35 squared, right? So it would be 3, the next number behind 3 is 4, so 3 times 4 equals 12. So 1, 2, 2, 5 is the answer. Okay, so um, go ahead we'll erase that. We're going to square 45, right? be 4 times 5, which is 20, 2, 0, 2, 5. I can like kind of do them in my head at this point. 55 squared, 5 times 6 is 30, 3, 0, 2, 5 is the answer. 3,025, 65 squared. Answer is 4, 2, 6 times 7 is 42, then add the 2, 5. 75 squared equals 5, 6, 2, 5. So after you get really good, you can start doing them in your head. 85 squared equals 7, 2, 2, 5. Then 95 squared equals 9, 0, because 9, next number is 10, 9 times 10 is 90, 9, 0, 2, 5. Okay, so I think we got that down, but let's work with some larger numbers that will help us. Uh, if you follow my videos, you've seen how I multiply uh, a little rapidly. So, so I use my rapid multiplication, uh, let's say 1, 0, 105 squared. Now, uh, just one, one thing I want to I wanna just step back. Whenever you have a number and it's multiplied by 10, you just take the number and add a 0 to it, 20. Uh, 3 times 10 is 30. 4 times 10, I just add, take the digit, add the, add the 0 to it. So let's say I had 120 times 10. All I'm going to do is bring over the 1, 20, and then add a 0. So, this next one is easy. If we take 105, and we're squaring that, then it'll just be 10 times 11, which is 1, 1, 0, and then 2, 5. Okay. Let's say we're taking 115 squared. Then, uh, it'll be the 11 times 10. Same answer, 10 times 11, 11 times 10. So let's uh, just say we're going to do 125 squared. Because that was like kind of too easy squared. Now 12 times 13 is what we're going to have to multiply. Now if we use our reference multiplication, it's 2, oh, 120, I'm sorry. So well, that was easy, 1, 2, 0, 2, 5. <sighs> one, 3, 5 squared, 13 times 14, reference multiplication, that's 3, 
plus four, three, one, seven, zero, one, two, one, eight, two. So our answer is one, eight, two, two, five. One forty five squared. One four five squared. Be fourteen times fifteen. And even if you can't remember my reference math, I mean it's gonna take you to take you a long time to do it the regular way, but uh, one nine zero two zero two one zero two five is my answer. 210 and 210 is uh, 14 times 15 is 210 and then we add the 25 and sometimes I kind of I messed up so I just since I'm giving you guys this information I just like to make sure things are accurate here all right let's try 155 five squared 15 times 16 uh, a reference numbers 210 is the answer so you guys can see how quickly I come up with these numbers 1, 6, 5 squared. 16 times 17. And then the last two digits. So we automatically always know when it ends in 5, we already know the last two digits of 25. We just got to work out the 16 times 17. All right? Plus 6 plus 7. 2, 3, 0. 2, 7. Two, so 272 two five two seven two two five uh, let's try one seven five squared like I said last two digits are two five automatically just based on the five squared on the end we just got it multiply 17 times the next consecutive number so, so our reference point plus seven plus eight. Uh, I already see seven plus eight is two, two, five. And then seven times eight is 56. One, eight, two. So two, eight, one. Two fives is the answer to one, seven, five squared. Hold on. And this is where you got to be kind of careful because sometimes I get lost a little bit myself. Seventeen, fifteen, twenty-five. My bad. My bad. I see where I, I, I screwed up. And this is why you have to practice a lot because you can make mistakes here. I was under the reference number ten, so. Um, I screwed up. 17 plus 8 is uh, is uh, 25. Right? It's 25, right? But then since the 10 is the reference number, I have to add a 0. Then I add 56. So 6, 11, 3, 1, 6. I'm sorry, six, ten, three, three, zero, six, two, five. So you have to be very careful when you get with your next numbers and keep everything in check with the systems. So every now and then I do make a mistake there. Let's try one, eight, five. All right, with our last two digits. Are automatically going to be 25 we know this when we square 185 right so what we have to work out is 18 times 19 we use the reference number of 10 
plus 8 plus 9. All right, and let's keep everything in check. 18 plus 9 is 27. Uh, what I need to do is I need to add a 0 and multiply um, 72. And I have to add that. So 2, 14, 3, 42, 3, 4, 2, 2, 5. And I'm just going to double check myself because I don't want to give you guys bad information. Three, four, two, two, five. Okay. 185 times 185. So I'm actually, you know what? A lot of people would be like, oh, I'm going to re edit this, but it's all right to make mistakes. Um, well, it's not all right, but my point is um, I'm not perfect. And so I'm trying to just help people get better with their math. So I'm actually going to leave that mistake that I made in previously watch me catch myself and then correct myself so um 195 squared and it will be 190 times the next consecutive number which is uh 20. now i could look at that forget about this just 19 times 2 and i already know that that's 38 but we're going to add it 9 times 2 is 38. We'll add to 0 like we do with the 10s, right? So I already know that this is 38025. Okay, so we'll stop right there and that will just uh, give you um, something to work with. So just to recap, whenever we're squaring a number ending in 5, and we think about our number line. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on. All we need to do is multiply the first digit um, by the next consecutive number, or if it was 135 squared, then it would be 13 times 14, but in this case, the next number is 3, come down to 3 times 4. If there's a 4 here, it would be 4 times 5 but the last two digits are always going to be 25. This is Keynote Thomas, and I'd like to thank you for watching.